Hello, hello, hello. I am Terry B. Jones coming to you live on today with another marketing strategy for you to grow your brand, your reach, and your revenue. And on today, I want to share with you the four must-have emails that business owners, entrepreneurs, those who have a product or service should have in their marketing arsenal, okay? And so the first one that is a must have is a welcome email or a download email where you have offered some type of freebie, whether it is a checklist, it's a guide, maybe a seven days a free to your online course you have created or some type of freebie that was of interest to the person sold a, a coupon of you, you know, have a product uh, as, far, as far as clothing, candles, jewelry, any of those types of things, okay? You must have an email that will welcome them uh, to your newsletter, okay? As they have opted in, they have given you their name and their email address so that they can download your ebook, you know, the video, the course, the coupon, whatever that thing is, okay? And so that first email that everyone as an entrepreneur or business owner should have is a welcome or a download uh, email, however you want to call that. And within that email is where you will definitely be thanking them for taking you up on the offer that you have and instructions on how to get it, okay? So you may have a link there for them to click on, for them to download right instantly. You may have the link to the video. You may have the link to the course, whatever it is, okay? And also you want to communicate with them. Hey, you know, if you have any questions, you can email me, you can call me, you can book, you know, a consultation, whatever those types of things are, you want to put that in the email. You also want to ask them to whitelist you so that when they get emails from you, you know, it was, it will not go into the junk mail. Okay. The next thing that you want to have in there is the links to your Facebook, your Pinterest, your Instagram, YouTube channel, any of those types of uh, social media concepts that you have you want to connect with them as well and then you also want to ask them to share with others okay and so that you know that product that you're giving away that freebie that you're giving away will go viral all right the second email that you should have is an email sharing value okay so that you can become the authority in your niche whatever that niche is uh, if, say, for instance, we have an insurance agency, TJ and TJ Insurance Agency. So what we're sharing, uh, considering that I am a baby boomer, I'm getting ready to retire in, within a few years. And so I'm going to be sharing valuable information for those who are looking to retire, who wants to make sure that they have more than one stream of income other than Social Security when they retire. A lot of people don't understand Social Security. So I'll be sharing information on that. How does that work if you're single? How does that work if you've been divorced and your spouse, you know, can you still get your spouse, your ex-spouse, you know, uh, Social Security benefits? And, you know, what happens if the person dies? All that kind of stuff, you know, when it comes to just the Social Security piece. Not, that's not even talking about sharing, you know, information on the different streams of income that you can generate while you're still living using insurance products okay so that's how you have you become the authority in your in your niche so that people will reach out to you you know when they're looking to get your product or service or something in line with what you're selling they're going to look out to you you know for the, their wedding cake they're going to look out to you you know to get their supplies the clothing you know whatever it is they're looking for that they you basically interested them in when they came to your website your facebook page your youtube channel or wherever they found you okay the third email that you should have is 
an email just talking about your product or your service updates like you know with covid you know you've changed to where now you're doing zooms you're doing facebook lives you know dip whatever that change is that's taking place with your business you know you change your hours you change you know locations you know you got new product in or whatever those things are you want to continually be updating them on what's going on okay it's no different than you getting a sales paper every week from walmart publix dollar general whoever okay they're updating you on hey this is what we have in the store this week this is what's on sale you know and you want to do the same thing with that third email okay the fourth email that you should have is a cell readiness email okay so as you have been communicating with those who have decided to join your list okay to get your freebie you know and then now that you communicating with them they see that you the authoritative figure okay now you want to move them from being just a freebie person to actually purchasing you know what it is you're offering so if you have, you know, coaching, you know, if you have a course, whatever that thing is, you want to have a call to action. Okay. So at some point you're going to say, Hey, you know, hopefully you've been enjoying, you know, the, fr the 10 free video course that, you know, that you took advantage of. Hopefully you've been enjoying this PDF, the first chapter of my book or whatever that is, the checklist that I gave you that's helping you to be more productive. Now, you know, here's a link to book me for a consultation, okay? 30 minutes, hour, however you have that set up for them to purchase, okay? And whatever your product is for them to make that purchase, okay? So those are the four different types of emails. If you don't have anything else, okay? You must have this here, okay? If you have a website, you must be accepting names and email address. You have to have an opt-in form to collect name and email address, okay? And in order to do that, okay, you have to have some type of opt-in page. You have to have a website or you may have on Facebook where you're communicating with them through messenger some kind of way you should be able to share what you have to offer so that those who are interested in what you have can begin to get that freebie that thing that you're offering okay so that you they can get on your email list so that you can build no like and trust that leads to sales okay I'm Terry B. Jones coming to you again on this Wednesday with another marketing strategy to grow your brand, your reach, and your revenue. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at TJ and TJ Enterprise at gmail.com. Let me know what you're interested in. You can connect with me on Facebook at Terry B. Jones Live. You can private message me. Uh, TJ and TJ Enterprise on Facebook as well. I have a YouTube channel, uh, Terry B. Jones, and I just started a brand new YouTube channel with email marketing, uh, content creation ideas, which would be great for you to take a look at so that you can get some ideas on different emails that you would want to send out. Okay. And then I do have uh, uh, the actual template of creating a, a welcome email if you interested in getting that you look at my youtube channel and you'll see where i have a link in there for you to download that all right so until next time have 